How does one achieve scientific certainty? When pressed, many scientists might admit that true certainty in the theoretical sciences is elusive, if not unobtainable. Nevertheless, an unbending faith in the foundations of the standard scientific models seems to define and profoundly limit scientific investigation today. Despite the relentless persistence of baffling discoveries in the space sciences, the basic foundations of popular scientific theories seem to remain unquestioned. At the forthcoming Thunderbolts Conference, EU 2015, Paths of Discovery, taking place June 25th to 29th in Phoenix, Arizona, Dr. Tom Wilson will explore the psychological behavior revealed at the highest level of organized science. Today, Tom offers a brief introduction and overview of his talk including a review of some of the most significant recent space discoveries, which are not, quote, surprising at all from an electric universe perspective. In recent years, there are ongoing findings and observations in the planetary and cosmological sciences where there is an open admission of surprise at some finding. Surprise because existing explanatory models in no way predict the observations or the findings in question. More importantly, the scientists involved often and quite frankly admit that the observations seriously undermine our dominant theories. Or worse, they don't just undermine, they completely contradict or potentially falsify our most revered models, those things that we seem so certain about. And there are some very notable examples of this, and I'll cover a handful of them at the EU 2015 conference. And actually, they're not very difficult to find if you go looking for them. Now, this is something I've focused on over the years and described in different Thunderbolt pictures of the day in different YouTube videos. At first, I focused on these publications of surprise as a way to find examples of where the electric universe model anticipated observations that the standard model failed to predict. Over time, however, I became more and more interested in the background sociological phenomenon. I became more and more interested in how consistently our standard models are wrong and yet how tightly the media and mainstream scientists continue to embrace these same models. And more importantly, the level of certainty in the language around the models that persisted. Humans need to be certain about how the world works around them. Whether that certainty is actually correct or predictive doesn't really seem to matter. As long as there's a comforting population of fellow humans who believe the same thing and share the same certainty, that's all that seems to matter. I've spoken about some of the motivating factors behind this. There's fear of the unknown, fear of the not knowing, fear of not having all the answers, fear of the darkness beyond the campfire. As humans, it is comforting to populate that darkness with certainty about something. Also, and more specifically, in a scientific social structure, there is fear of running counter to what can only be called dogma. Maybe not fear of outright persecution, but Going against conventional ideas can be a professionally uncomfortable experience. So we see examples all the time of observations that leave astronomers scratching their heads, quote unquote, or having to go back to the drawing board, etc., but with no actual challenge to our certainty about the prevailing models. Well, as a preview, let's look at one of these examples. A really good one starts in January of 2013, where scientists from Canada, France, Hawaii, and the Keck Observatory were amazed to find a group of dwarf galaxies apparently revolving in unison around the Andromeda galaxy. These dwarf galaxies appear to be arranged along a thin plane, like the planets of a solar system, and they seem to orbit the much larger Andromeda galaxy. And this actually is the crux of the problem or the surprise. Now, it's only really in the past five years or so that we've begun to survey the outlying dwarf galaxies of the Andromeda galaxy. We found a large number of satellite galaxies. The really big surprise here, though, is that these dwarf galaxies, about 30 of them, and Andromeda are part of a much larger structure. Now, conventional theories of galaxy formation are kind of bottom-up. Matter and gas and dust coalesce out of a much larger clump of cold dark matter. For decades, computer models for standard theory of galaxy formation found that dwarf galaxies should be fairly randomly scattered about. The computer simulations over time produce results in greater and greater detail, but as it turns out, they've been detailing something entirely wrong. No computer model using our current theories predicted this kind of structure. 
There have also been similar claims for this kind of structure comprised of dwarf galaxies around the Milky Way galaxy. And this has been proven out. So these authors claim that these structures that are there and observable point to a fundamental failing in our understanding of the universe. Something is fundamentally wrong, and it has to do with the lambda cold dark matter model. Now, the lambda cold dark matter model is a standard model, and it in no way predicts or can be made to predict the observations. Now, full credit to the scientists involved, like Marcel Pavlovsky and David Merritt, since they have continued to make observations and mathematical arguments showing that the lambda cold dark matter model is not able to predict these observations. They continue to say that something is fundamentally wrong. Well, what does this mean? Well, the lambda cold dark matter model is the Bible for modern day cosmology. It is Big Bang and dark matter and vacuum energy and inflation and redshift. It's all of those things. Galaxies formed when clumps of dark matter, apparently, and ordinary matter separated out. It is the foundation for our view of how the universe is put together. But Pavlovsky and his colleagues have shown that it's wrong. Other investigators in different ways have found fundamental issues as well with the lambda cold dark matter model. Halton Arp showed that redshift, a key mathematical underpinning of the lambda cold dark matter model does not indicate recessional velocity and distance. So here are two separate independent observations by respected astronomers falsifying the lambda cold dark matter model and the Big Bang Theory by association. Now let's just consider this for a moment and ask the what if question that I like to do that flows from this. What if the Big Bang Theory is wrong and it never happened? Now Everyone, and by everyone I mean the scientific media and the mainstream, are so certain of the Big Bang. It's spoken of as a fact. Now that certainty is very difficult to let go. And this is what I refer to as a siren song of certainty. In no way has our certainty in Big Bang, or the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, been shaken by these observations. Now that's actually not rational. How many observations, and this is kind of a rhetorical question, but how many observations that falsify it are required to shake that certainty? Fortunately, humans love certainty. And also, unfortunately, certainty can be our greatest barrier to discovery. Now, I'll talk more about this phenomenon and other examples at the EU 2015 conference. I hope to see you there.